What's up? My name is Elsa. I don't want to build a snowman. I've got my foundation and bronzer on, and I'm going to start with this shimmery Be A Bombshell blush. Put that on both of my cheekbones and then on the very tip of my nose because Elsa has a pink little nose. For the brows, I'm mixing light brown and the gray color right next to it from my Lorac Pro 2 palette, and I'm applying that with an angled brush. Now I've got this cool Urban Decay lipstick sample in Anarchy, and then I'm using Kate McNabb's Fetch Pink on the bottom lip, and I'm gonna just rub these two together and get a pretty little color. I then apply some Kate McNabb Naked Truth on the very center of my lips to make them look a little bit more plump. The Frozen Elsa doesn't really have this, but the Elsa Elsa does. I'm gonna apply some Urban Decay Primer Potion on my upper and lower lids. If you were gonna be doing this on a child, you don't really have to go as detailed as I'm about to go. Take a fluffy brush with some pink eyeshadow and apply that into the crease. Then with a flat eyeshadow brush, take some purple eyeshadow and just pack that on the lid and that's it. But if you want to be a little bit more extreme, keep watching. With a fluffy brush, I apply Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie in my crease. And then I grab my very unsharpened NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and apply that all over my lid. I'm going to be using a Ben Nye Grande color palette for the rest of the eyeshadow. With a flat brush, I'm taking the pink color and putting that all over my lid. With a small fluffy brush, I'm taking that kind of pinkish red color and putting that in my crease. And I do not miss the very inner crease towards the inner part of my eye. Now I'm going in with a dark purple and applying that to the inner and outer corners of my eyes, leaving the center pink. I go back in with a pink red color and apply that to my lower lash line and then blend that out with peach smoothie. With Kate McNabb's gel liner in black, I'm creating a small winged line on my upper lid and then taking that line down onto my lower lash line. I fill in my waterline with a black coal pencil, curl my lashes, and then add some mascara. And there you go, and there you go. That's the final look. On to the hair. I part my hair very, very far to one side, brush that all together and make it look real pretty. Then I take a section of hair and split it into three parts. And this is gonna be the start of the braid. I've got a back piece, a middle piece, and a front piece. I take the front piece under the middle, and now they have traded spots. I will now take the back piece under the middle, and they have traded spots. Now for this next piece, I take the front, add a section of hair, and put that under the middle. And I will do the same thing to the back. Add a section of hair, put that with the back piece, and put both of those under the middle. Front, add a section, put it under the middle. Back, add a section, put it under the middle. And do that all the way down your head and finish off with an elastic. To make it look like I've got a huge frozen Elsa braid, I pancake out all of the little knots. Just to show what that does, this is the before and this is the after. I've got these Julie little crystal things that I bought from Hoblob and I just stick those right onto my hair and they stay very surprisingly well. This Elsa costume was supplied by buycostumes.com. If you'd like an Elsa costume for yourself or a little one, check out their website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.